Mano Baya Shabab. Ahlan wa sahlan. Hello and welcome. Um, long time no see, long time no see, I know. But I'm back with a brand new tutorial series. And as far as you can remember, the last tutorial series I published was about GitHub Actions, CI CD pipeline. To head back again to our diagram here, as you can remember, we I have a tutorial series where we create a backend application, backend uh, an API, and we did the hosting only node, and then we did the, um, the CI CD tutorial series, as you can see here. Uh, now to continue, now we are on the client side. This tutorial series you're watching right now will be about creating an Android app, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, let me just walk you through what we're going to do. So the app will be a single activity. So we will just have a main activity and that's it. And we'll mostly work with fragments. I mean, as you can see for our task application where we have already API, we will have our task fragments, a task view model, which holds all the live data to update the um, UI elements in the fragment. And we will have, of course, a repository. And this repository holds a uh, retrofit client, which will, which will get updates, um, delete, and read the data from our API. I mean, it's all about CRUD applications right now, and this app will be in uh, model view, view model uh, architecture. Um, for those of you who watched all the tutorial series right now and did all the things necessary, like Linode, uh, setting up um, all, all the things in, in Linode and the CICD pipeline, you are uh, covered. But for everyone else who doesn't have uh, the API right now, we will, what we are going to do is, I, I will provide you this uh, repository. Uh, GitHub is a bit slow. Yeah, this repository to hold, uh, this will be your API. This will be the code for your API. This will be the backend and we will host this repository so on uh, render.com it's just very easy with just a few clicks you will host it and then you will have something like this uh, wait like this as you can see um, you can choose a name and it will be hosted on render.com as you can see here and you can do all the things um, like checking for Close tasks. Okay, is task open? Ah, sorry, I'm just. Uh... My mistake, my mistake. I just did the wrong query parameter. Now closed, open, and as you can see, we have also our here. Um, you will have um, access to the. Uh, Swagger UI, where you can see everything, here the query parameters with ta uh, status and so on. And yeah, I think that's, um, yeah, just about, uh, yeah, here we will have also, here's a diagram about all the endpoints, like fetching all the tasks. If you want to just have open or closed task, you do it with the query parameter. You can query a specific task. You can create a task with post. You can update the task with patch. You can delete the task with the delete endpoint. So every CRUD operation is covered. Okay, now to the most interesting part. I will show you how the app will look like. So where it is, here it is. Okay, this is our application. As you can see, we will have a bottom navigation. Now we are, the open task will be our home uh, destination, then we have our closed tasks, then we have all the tasks, and let me just show something to you. Um, add unit tests, here you have details, you can edit it. Uh, add more unit tests, for instance. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, save task. As you can see, it got updated, add more unit tests. Um, of course, you can delete something. Yeah, let's delete it. It got deleted. Now we have just on one open task. That's great. But something else I will also show to you is right now um, swiping. 
as you can see, we can do it with swiping. We don't have to click on the detail screen. Um, uh, yeah, let's say, I don't know, finish tutorial. Uh, let's do it to medium. It's, I mean, it's already a closed task, but yeah, it got updated. But as I said to you, it's a closed task. We can also just delete it. Do you want, you can say cancel. But you can also say delete and I got deleted and now if you go to all tasks we have just two tasks in here uh, one more thing of course to create a task uh, create new github repo this is medium priority I don't need a reminder so let's say create and yeah that's basically it. As you can see, we can do all the CRUD operations, read tasks, um, update ones, um, delete, delete those, and yeah, create. And this will be the uh, application basically. That's all the functionality there is. But as you as you can see here, this is the the code for the medium.com article. By the way, here. On medium.com, you will have all the everything in written form as you are used by my tutorials. And yeah, we will build this app together. As you can see, we have quite a lot of packages. It took me um, yeah, 10 parts to write it on medium.com. And as you can see from the, um, from the tutorial banner here, the app will be in MEV, NDVM model view, view model architecture. We will use Airbnb epoxy for the recycler view. We will use Kotlin coroutines. We'll do testing. And let me just show it to you where we have our tests. We will write unit tests. We'll have to set up some things first uh, for the tests. And yeah, we will write unit tests for the repository for the view model. And we'll create some mock uh, JSON responses. And yeah, that's a tutorial series. And yeah, with the next part, we will start with creating the app. So see you soon. Ilalika, ya shabab.